still at South by Southwest 2022 on the Cannabis Summit, and I'm with Chris Beals, the CEO of Weed Maps. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. All right. Well, I just enjoyed your speech about technology and cannabis because that's that's kind of what I do. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the intersections between technology and cannabis? Yeah. So uh, for us, I think there's kind of a few dimensions that we think about. So one is uh, compliance. So uh, every state, 37 states are legalized, have these really complex and rigorous regulations. Yep. Most of the burden of them falls on your hourly staff, your front of house staff. And so uh, one of the things that we're relentlessly sort of focused on is making sure that the software meets the requirements of all the different jurisdictions, but also that we're automating a lot of it and that we're sort of uh, making these, these compliance points foolproof uh, because that's critical because we're seeing an increase in regulators shut businesses down. Yeah. Uh, the second thing is the complexity of the product and so we're relentlessly focused. We have a uh, proud of 20 person data science team. What can we do to sort of ingest, normalize cannabis data but then make it uh, searchable, discoverable, interactable for consumers in service of helping them transact to purchase products. Um, and then I'd say the third thing is just um, you know, is, is given sort of how nuanced the workflows of these different businesses are, is making sure that we're driving real value and helping these businesses grow, improve their margins, because we're seeing most cannabis jurisdictions get more competitive and that sort of thing. Uh, finally, what's next for Weed Maps? And probably can't announce if you have any pending mergers and acquisitions. But yeah. What's next? Well, so we closed a couple mergers and acquisitions over the last couple months. So we acquired uh, Canvea, which is a delivery logistics platform, which is an incredible, incredible power tool. Uh, Can Current, which is a Zapier type integration connector okay. tool. Uh, Sprout, which is a CRM solution, will be rebranded WMCRM soon. Um, and so, you know, we've been very active on the acquisition space, but going forward, a couple areas of big focus and investment for this year. Uh, one is solutions for brands, uh, tons of, of pain that brands are feeling, how they reach consumers, how they understand yep. their sales cycle, yep. how they develop products based on, on data and not sort of guesswork. So uh, new products for brands, uh, attacking these new East Coast jurisdictions that are opening. I think we're going to see um, yep. a, a real shift in terms of, I think, the, the, the nexus of cannabis being only West Coast to now being West Coast and East Coast. Um, and then I'd say another thing is turning out uh, data, data analytics products. Yep. You know, 14 year old company, more first party transactional data than anyone out there and starting to turn it into recommendations, uh, data tools for businesses, uh, business intelligence, that sort of thing. I agree. So before we go, tell me about the Super Bowl ad that didn't run. I watched ah, it on YouTube. What's the story here? Yeah, so this is this is uh, the, the, the Brock Ollie campaign. And so uh, we, we wanted to bring light to the fact that cannabis conversations are have been incredibly difficult to have in the open. And so we tried to run this, what frankly was very innocuous, Super Bowl ad, which actually wasn't discussing cannabis. The, the, the gent here with the broccoli on his head is sort of the emoji that people yeah, he was. used for, for cannabis. Yeah, he was. Uh, we still couldn't <laughs> put it up. It still wasn't allowed. But um, I think in that process, I think uh, what we were highlighting and why we focused on this is what's hurt by sort of the stigma around cannabis and not being able to have advertising it also means honest conversations about medical yeah. research, the yeah. clinical impacts of cannabis, the social justice impact, how many sort of uh, people uh, and especially people of color in jail right now solely for sort of a plant that's now legalized in 37 yeah. states and so what you lose by this censorship and this lack of dialogue isn't just sort of advertising it's actually having the hard conversations about hard subjects for something that is a fairly ubiquitous product now all right thanks for your time thank you and let me get a